Hi and welcome to this playthrough of uh, Alien Isolation. I've had this game since the release, but uh, I never actually finished it. I came uh, quite far in, but then I I don't recall why I stopped playing it. I'm uh, making a second attempt here, and um, I'm uh, oh, what's new? Uh, in this playthrough for me is that uh, last time I played it I played it on my uh, PS4 OG and now I'm I get to play it on a PS4 Pro and also from uh, well I am playing it from the disc so my external hard drive doesn't benefit me here but uh, yeah so let's start I think since I'm going to be talking I'm gonna switch off um, Wait, let's see. Uh, full dynamic range speakers on. Uh, subtitles on. Back game. There is a function, I remember, that would uh, enable the um, microphone to pick up noise that I make. And so that. Alien could detect, yeah, noise detection off. Yeah, keep it off, because I might, I mean, I'm not going to be quiet when I play this time. So head tracking, wait, playing the game with head tracking enables, allows the uh, camera to connect your system tracking. Head movements, applying them to your character when in peak mode, used for peeking over objects in the round corners. I haven't played that way before because last time I played I didn't have a, a camera but now I do. So I could try that one. Vibrations on aim axis. Yeah, okay. Uh, that looks good. Video. Film grain intensity. Let's keep it high. Adjust gamma. Um... Barely visible, like that, I think. Okay, so, um, let's get cracking. Alien Isolation Crew, Expendable, uh, let's do the Isolation. Start head tracking on. Better sit straight in front of the TV and the camera in that case. Uh, noise detection off. Let's do... Um, wait. Still a challenge, but one you might survive. Recommended way to experience the game. Challenging, terrifying. Uh, okay, let's do uh, the recommended then. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas. Are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Ripley? 
I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a permanent freeport. I facility. know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Wow, uh, big improvement on the intro, I think. I remember there were huge problems with V-Sync back in the day. Ah, oh, this is really cool. Um, sign in. See what we have. Bonding agent, scrap, SCJ injector, whatever those are for, not sure. What's that? Oh, CCTV. Hello. I've got another box here. Uh, compound B scrap charge pack. All right. Let's get going. Japanese and English. Scrap, injector, compound B, anything else? Empty. Scrap and bonding agent. Have a shower, shall we? Uh, what 
do we have here? Verlaine, Connor, Samuels, Taylor and Ripley signed in all of us. Hmm. And we're dressed. Scrap says a scrap. Emergency. Wait, wait, was this this was save game and this is just a computer terminal, yeah? So access terminal. Relane, you on the lookout for a navigational officer? I have a friend that's just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him, he's got good papers. Same old story. The mega corpse undercut him. Picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by the, uh, for the smaller companies and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell sounds like you're doing okay though dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out Sevastopol station what a shithole still I hear Whalen Yutani pay well good luck to you if you can't beat them right let's catch up when you get back Blaine Uh, let's see. Archive logs. Okay. Um. Speak to Samuels. Let's speak to Taylor. Let's start with Samuel, shall we? Oh, Taylor. Is it? Ah, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. So, uh, I don't think I ever got that far into the story last time, but I am wondering if if uh, Samuels is actually... Uh, what was the term for it? The synthetic or artificial person? In the first movie, I think they called it robot only. In the second one, they they uh, uh, I think Ripley called Bishop an android, and uh, Bishop himself said he preferred uh, artificial people, right? So um, yeah, I'm guessing Samuel's might be one. Anyway, let's go and check on Taylor. we here? Anything? Did we pick that up? Ooh. Yeah, I'm really digging the the interior here. Oh, are we here? Yeah. Hello. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. <laughs> I'm surprised Waylon Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. 
That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Yeah, okay, so she... Uh, if he is... Um... All personnel to the bridge, approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks right. like we're up. If Samuels is an android slash artificial person, uh, what speaks for that is that Taylor seems to be aware of his sleeping patterns. Uh, so unless they are um, an item, why would she know? So, uh, got another computer terminal here. Is there anything new? Oh, personal to N. Tyler. Uh, Nostromo incident, Wayland Utani file, yeah, whatever. Hey Taylor, I got your case request. It may take me a while to dig out the files, and the incident happened before my time at the company, so I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. In 2122, w the Wayland Utani cargo vessel, the USCSS Nostromo, went missing. No trace was found of its cargo or crew. Apart from a new science officer, the rest of the crew had worked together before, seven in all. Dallas Captain Ash, science officer. Kane, or Kane, with C. Executive officer. Ripley, warrant officer. Lambert, navigation officer. Parker, chief engineer. Brett, engineer technician. Um, Lambert, that was the, the, the woman, right? Uh, Whaling Yutani lost a lot of money from it. It's a bit of a black mark in the history get the impression they don't like to mention it. Anyway, I'll try f and find the files later, clarify some of the points. If you want, I can help you go through them. Maybe some of your luck will rub off on me. I hear upstairs have an eye on you for something big. So, okay. What's this then? Uh, Outbound and return transportation for Whalen Yutani retrieval team to Sevastopol Station. Team consists of three Whalen Yutani employees Samuel, Ripley, and Taylor. Um, okay, this is just information about the ship we're on. Um, anything else we can lift from here? Bran flakes, corn flakes, porridge oats. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're good. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? RCMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comms so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Collect your briefing documents. Okay, where do we collect them from? Ah, this room is so cool in the movie. Let's have a look around. Hello, Samuels. Ah, don't push me. Oh, he's he's running on the spot. 
like Ash did in the movies. Talk to anyone? No. Oh, Samuel sitting down. Okay, collect briefing files. Here we go. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sebastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Yutani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo Flight Recorder Unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Marshal, this is the Torin. Say again. The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Depressurizer. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shadow me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Fuck happened here? My God, Ripley. You're doing good, Tim. Just keep moving! <laughs> So for now we're alone at least. Uh, we need to uh, figure out what happened to this station. Let's see. Uh, get out of this suit. Find help. Yeah. Let's have a look around first. I'm just so like. When I am playing this game, I just feel 
Like I'm really into in, inside the movie. It's really cool. Oh. <laughs> Use registration points to manually save your progress. Okay. Saving. Overwrite. Sure. So this is a map of the station, I guess, and uh, let's see. I don't know what those white squares represent uh, and the black squares, but uh, hopefully the white squares represent damaged areas and, and not the other way around. Quite sure which way we should go. Is it this way or that way? Oh, what have we here? Let's check the map. Oh, we can't really tell. Whoa. What's going on? Oh. <laughs> okay, so I don't think. Okay. So, um. Wow! Nice. Nice looking fire. So, climb in here to the, the ventilation shaft. It's a computer terminal. Corrupted. Uh, shared. Okay, so boys and girls, you've probably heard the whisper about Sevastopol by now, and I can confirm it's official. Sevastopol is being decommissioned. I will go over with each of you what this means in regards to your contracts and next placements, but for now we still have a job to do. The suits want this done with the skeleton crew, which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help, but it does mean overtime. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out that the decommission does not mean lucky dip. Everything here has to be accounted for, and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to Marshal Waits. Chief. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wonder how many people there are here on the station, or were here on the station, because I assume some of them are not with us anymore. Mm, so let's see, folder corrupted. What's this here? Employees only, okay. Wait, is that Japanese or Chinese? Looks like Chinese, actually. Space flight control. Uh-oh! 
whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! Ouch. God. That can't have been comfortable. Oh, what's this? Flare. Okay. This so. will help. Hold circle to open radial inventory and use L to select items. Okay, so let's try that. Uh, okay, so we have one flare for now. And press square to activate. Cool. What is this? Like a, a baggage carousel? What? Whoa. Uh -oh. Yeah, this uh, flare must be really smoky. We're coughing. Oh, wait, can we lie down or? So we're crouching now. Is this lying down? Crouching again. Stand up. Wait, where are we going anyway? We should be. Um, we can go here. Okay. What's this scrap? So we drop the flare. Climbing up to wherever we are. Let's check the map. Can we uh, wait? We can zoom in, zoom out, floor, arrivals and departure, security, freight shipping. Okay. Let's see. Nice. Hello? Anyone here? <laughs> I don't think anyone can hear us when we use this volume. I have to speak up. Update map. Okay. So uh, let's check the map. So we came from this way, and the emergency airlock was down here. Um, can we switch floor? Okay, no, we only have one floor for now. Legend, what's legend? Oh, okay, explains the different icons. All right. So what's this? Save.
Okay, so we've activated the generator and now things appear to be working. So does Doesn't this mean anything here work? Restore power, okay. Find a way to restore power to the shutters. Alright, I'm assuming that door over there also doesn't work. What's this? Spotlights. I see. Hmm. Sign in. Langley, if you're looking for our stash, I've moved it. You left it right out in the open where anyone could have taken it. Jesus, do you know what I had to do to get it? I've hidden it in one of the rest in the storerooms. You should be able to find it. The code is 0340. Don't worry, no one goes down to the terminal anymore. Not after what happened. What happened? <laughs> also, we're out of meds and low on washer, so you're going to need to get some. It's your turn. Maybe it'll teach you to take care of our stuff in the future. Anna. Shared. Goodbye from Seekson. Public notice. Decommission of Sevastopol Station. We've had a long journey together, but sadly it's coming to an end. Seekson Corps would like to take this opportunity to take all to thank all of you who worked and lived at Sevastopol over the years and hopes that Sikson has helped to make it a productive and rewarding environment. Our Im investment and belief in the station has never wavered. Be assured that Sikson, Apollo Central AI and Working Joe Androids will be there to serve Sevastopol until the last rivet is removed. We wish you all the very best for the future. After all, Sevastopol isn't just a station, it's people. Seeks and core. Okay, audio. What's this? Harris, Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're gonna need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. Wait's up. Okay. Wait, isn't he the... Uh, Marshal? Restore power to uh, departures. There we go. Oh, hello. They left in a hurry. Should we be going this way? Maybe? Or maybe not? They came from here. Search. Compound B. Bonding agent. Is it just me, or does this station look a lot like the cargo ship uh, in the first Alien movie, the Nostromo? Or was the Nostromo just a towing vessel? I forget. Man, I love the atmosphere. The 
planet hopper. Okay, let's go. Baggage claims, gift shop, elevator, station maintenance. Mien, noodle shop. Best on the station. Vidicon. Iron torch required. You know, uh, these Vidicom stations make me think of uh, Blade Runner as well. I don't think I I saw any things like this in the in the movies, but uh, in Blade Runner for sure. Really cool, and the the keyboard. Also really cool makes you think of the um, uh, the keyboard of the the um, uh, the bomb in the original movie doesn't it Welcome, bienvenue, willkommen, benvenuto, Juanin. Okay, uh, how did we get further? Well, we, we, I think well, we need to um, get upstairs, yeah, yeah. Just want to check where the flights are going to. Uh, Ross. Alpha City. Uh, Capella. Nothing that rings a bell. No need for that. Okay, so we need to contact the Torrents. We can't get in here, can we? It's red. Restore power. Uh, Vidicom station. What's in here? Flare? Don't mind if I do. Ooh! Air hockey. Power.
Okay, here we go. What's in here? Computer terminal. Personal. Pulling the plug. Zoe, I'm sorry, but I won't need you to come in next week. As you know, the store has been in trouble for some time now, and I couldn't hold off the creditors any longer. There's just no one coming to Sevastopol anymore. It's not just us either. It sounds like the whole station is in red, and they're pulling the plug. Going to sell it off for a scrap, I guess. Um, I was speaking to one of the engineers and he reckons they'll announce it soon. I'm telling you this so you won't stick around looking for another job. Sevastopol's finished. Time to move on. Harper. Okay. Shared. To all spaceflight employees, what is Apollo? To all spaceflight terminal employees, in the interest of public safety and the prevention of panic, it must be made clear to all potential passengers that there are currently no scheduled flights leaving Sevastopol, nor ships available. The Colonial Marshals are investigating problems on station and will update accordingly. From the Office of Marshal Waits. Okay, what is Apollo? Apollo is the central AI that monitors and provides guidance for all the Sikhs and work, working Joes on Sevastopol. Apollo also oversees all communication on the station. So wherever you are, you know you're in safe hands, Sikhs and tomorrow together. Okay, so it's Big Brother, basically. Is there anything we can loot? Ooh! Old tape recorder. Julia Jones, today's update. After numerous demands, Marshal Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. Okay. Coffee maker. Could do with a coffee. Let's save.